Hi, my name's Tim Titchmarsh from .netarchitect.co.uk, based in the UK. We're Ironspeed developers, and today we're going to be talking about synchronizing your database with Ironspeed. A bit of a recap, maybe in order. Um, as you're aware, of course, Ironspeed builds its applications based on the database. The schema that it finds dictates the page layouts, content, relationships within your application. So it's vital that the database and the Ironspeed application are kept in sync. What happens is when you start and create an application for the first time, Ironspeed will read the database you're using, whether that's SQL, Access, Oracle, MySQL, etc. And it will read the schema, the metadata from the database and store it within Ironspeed so that it can then go and build the pages, build the relationships, etc. based on what it finds in that uh, metadata. That's done uh, at startup, um, and when you move forward and want to change the application, of course, you then tend to want to change the database, maybe add new tables, new columns, create a view, etc. Now, of course, Ironspeed is unaware of these until you tell it something's changed. Um, so, how do we do that? Well, let's go and have a look. If we go into our wizard, we can see uh, the database that we're using. Okay, so I'm using SQL Server on an instance and it's SQL 2012. It doesn't really matter, as I say, any of the application, any of the databases in your application, they all work in a very similar way. So what we need to do, we need to uh, scan the database. Okay, and options, two options in Ironspeed, scan only and then synchronize. So if you scan only, it will go through, check the metadata against what it holds locally in its XML file representation. And if there's a difference, it will show you. Let's do a quick scan. And as we would expect, and that's what we're looking for, no changes. If there are changes, you need to ask yourself why. And if you haven't made them, who has? It's very important that they're kept in sync at all, all times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a change in the database and see if Ironspeed picks it up. So let's bring up our SQL Server. Here we go. So there's my instance of SQL. There's my uh, database, Deck Chair Trader. And I'm going to use my uh, user table, which we can see uh, on the screen. I'm going to change the name of one of the fields. I could easily add a field, remove a field, change a type, make it nullable, etc. And Ironspeed will pick up all these changes and report them back. So let's go and let's say we want to call this uh, theme pointer X, slightly different. Let's save that now within our uh, SQL Server. But of course, Ironspeed doesn't know about this until I tell it. So I'm going to tell it to go and scan. OK, and it said there's a change. I'm going to cancel that temporarily just so that I can show you the change. If we scroll down, we can see that the table user has lost a field and effectively added a new field. So we, we, we renamed it in the database and this is what Ironspeed treats it as a delete and an add. Now if I were to try and use the application without resyncing I'll probably get an error. So let's see if that is the case. So I haven't resynced yet I've just asked it to report what it's found. Okay. I'm going to run the application and I expect it to error because they're out of sync. And there it is. There's the error invalid column name. Now this is a very blatant error so it's quite easy to catch but there are more subtle ones and depending how your error handling is in your application you may miss them all together so it's vitally important that you keep them up to sync. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and accept the change so let's synchronize again it's found it I'm going to accept it this time okay now I'm going to build and run Now there's an error this time, and the reason there's an error, of course, is a completely different reason. Related, but um, what you find is, uh, if I were to show you the error, it will probably say something like theme pointer not found, okay, because we renamed it. Of course, my code that I've written doesn't know that, so I would have to go in and change that myself. So what I'm going to do is, I could go in and change my code uh, to, to bring that up so that the code actually compiles. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and rename the field back to what it was, resync and build, and we should get it to, to work this time. So let's go back into my database. 
let's go and rename that save now iron speed of course will treat that as another change and it should report it as a change yep there it is accept that now if we build and then run we should find this time everything's back to normal and we're okay so there are several stages here you need to be uh, informing iron speed that the underlying scheme has changed so that it can rebuild its data access layer and its business layers you also need to obviously go and change your own code uh, if you use um, any of those fields that's changed or indeed if you add a new field iron speed will say thank you very much and add it to the schema internally but until you drag and drop that field onto your page of course you won't see it it's not that intelligent that it will start adding fields onto your your forms for you okay so the application is loaded and that's all synchronized and we're okay one other thing to uh, remember when synchronizing if we go and look at the options uh, under application settings we'll see that the SQL generation is in line okay so there are no stored procedures created all the data access is done in the data access layer now if you are using store procedures uh, you'll need to make sure that you synchronize your store, store, stored procedures as well so that iron speed is aware of that and your application runs correctly how do you do that if you go to the build regenerate and reload store procedures that will make sure the store procedures themselves are aware of that change and that will be written to the database making sure that uh, everything's kept in sync well i hope you found that useful um, and look forward to talking to you again shortly